The historian Raphael Samuel wrote that if history was thought of as an activity rather than a profession, then the number of its practitioners would be legion. And that is the place where the field of public history often begins. Public history critically examines the way that history is made for the public, by academic and popular history, by museums and heritage organizations, by the media, by schools, and by the state. This is critically important to do, I think, at a time when history has become one of the most popular forms of entertainment, but also when different versions of the past are being deployed to tell and retell all kinds of national and political narratives. Public history, in other words, pays particular attention to the past as it is made and used by the present. But the study of public history also recognizes that professional historians, or the state, or museums, don't have the final or authoritative say on how to make history. It explores community history, oral history and memory, digital, online, and crowdsourced history, fiction, performance, and it also considers other, often non-Western forms of remembering and explaining the past. It's a radical and exciting way to consider what the possibilities of history as an activity can be and what the value of history is for a diverse population. Birkbeck supports the Raphael Samuel History Center, which is connected to a large network of history and heritage organizations. And many of our staff at the Department of History, Classics and Archaeology are active public historians themselves, appearing on television and radio, working with government and policymakers, and helping communities build their own history projects. RMA in Public Histories is excellent training work for the heritage sector, for education and in community organizations, but it's also a refreshing and intellectually stimulating way to approach the study of the past and explore its meanings for the present.